I am going to solve this problem 316. In this problem it is said that a 700 Newton axial force is required to remove the pulley from its shaft. Right? So 700 Newton force is required to push this pulley out. Right? So the, the direction of that force will be in this direction. Right? So if this is our positive x and this is our positive y, so this much force in this direction 700 Newton force is required in this direction to pull this pulley out right mm -hmm. so it is said that what force F must be exerted on the handle of each of the two pry, pi, pry bars right so these are two pry bars so it is said that how much force F is required so that we should pull this uh, pulley out with this much force and it is said that friction at the contact points B and E is sufficient to prevent slipping friction at the pulley contact point C and F is negligible right so it is said that at B and E point there is sufficient friction right to prevent the slipping of these uh, pry bars and further it is said that at point C and F the friction is negligible right so at this point C and F the friction is negligible so now if we consider this one pry bar so then if if we want to eject this pulley with 700 Newton force, so that 700 Newton force will be equally distributed between these two pry bars and that force as a reaction this pulley will apply force at this point C and F on these two pry bars, right? So if I, if I mention those forces, right? So let me draw it here. So we will have one force at this point this force at this point and this will be vertically upward and this is the reaction force of the pulley on the pry bar right and its magnitude will be 700 divided by 2 right newtons so this is the reaction of the pulley on the pry bar right so we are considering the single pry bar as a system under consideration right and since it is said that at point E there is sufficient friction right so we there will be one reaction force uh, there will be one normal reaction force at this point let me draw it as an arrow so this will be one reaction force at this point E and there will be one friction force in this direction at this point E. Let me draw it here. So let's say that this is small f, this is friction force and this is the normal force at this point E. Right? So we need to find this force f. So for calculation we will consider this single uh, pry bar, right? So if we apply the summation of moment at point E equal to 0 since at point E we do not know this normal force and we do not know this friction force so if we take the summation of moment at point E so this N and F are not producing the moment at this point E so they will not be included in this equation so by using this condition these two forces will be eliminated from the calculation right so whenever there is unknown forces at a particular point so they can be eliminated by taking by finding the summation of moment at that point so now if i say that this counterclockwise moment is positive so as we can see that this this will be 350 newtons so this 350 newton force is producing clockwise moment about this e so i will write minus and this will be 350 into the perpendicular distance so the perpendicular distance between this point of application this f and this point e is 38 mm so i will multiply this with 38 and to find the moment of this force f we will resolve this force into its components right so this force has one component along x and it has one component along y direction right and this is the cos component right so this is the cos component so it will be f cos of 5 degrees and this is the sine component f sine of 5 degrees so 
as we can see that this cos component is producing the counterclockwise moment about this E. So we will write plus and that will be F cos of 5 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this cos component from this point E is this much that is 250 mm. So I will multiply this with 250 and similarly this sine component is producing counterclockwise moment about this E. So I will write plus and this will be F sine of 5 degrees and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from this E is this 31 mm right so this distance so we will multiply it with 31 so this will be equal to 0 so if we take F common from these so then this will be F into 250 cos of 5 degrees plus 31 sine of 5 degrees equals to 350 divided by 38 and if we divide both sides of the equation by this thing right so this will be 250 cos of 5 degrees plus 31 sine of 5 degrees so this will be cancelled out so if I solve this so this will give us the F magnitude so the F magnitude comes out to be 52.83 Newtons. So this is the solution of this problem.